Hi, I'm James Muir, and this is a screencast for Make More Noise. We posted a couple of videos uh, a while back on our YouTube channel, which had a look at uh, using automation in Logic Pro. And uh, one of our viewers posted a question asking how to copy automation. So the simplest way of showing you that is to do another video. Uh, so in this video, we're going to have a quick look at how to copy and move automation once you've already got it created. If you want to know more about automation, look back on the YouTube channel or on our site, www.makemorenoise.org, and you'll see a couple of videos uh, about Logic's automation, which will show you how to get started. Uh, so let's discuss where we are. We've got uh, an ESE soft synth on uh, these, this track here. Uh, with a little bit of automation in the first couple of four bars and a little drum beat in the background. So without any automation, it sounds like this. And with the automation, it sounds like this. So the next thing we'll have a look at is how to move the automation. If you want to move or copy automation, the first thing you have to be able to do is select it. Uh, if you click in a normal arrange page object in Logic Pro, you'll find that you just end up creating more nodes, or if you click on a node that's already there, you're just going to be able to move it. So the question becomes, how do you select nodes to move or copy them? Well, if you hold down your escape key and pick up the automation select tool, uh, which is also on the key command Q, You'll find you'll be able to elastic band around a region and its related nodes, selecting them all, and you'll get this black overlay or dark grey overlay. Once you've got that selected, you can go back to your normal pointer tool and drag it around the screen till your heart's content. Let's just put that back where we found it, uh, on beat one of bar one. Okay, that's back where we found it. And to copy it, Exactly the same idea, looking for this dark uh, grey overlay. Once you've got it overlaid, if you hold down the Alt key or the Option key, depending on the age of your Apple keyboard, they're the same thing, just called different things and different age Apple keyboards, and then drag it, so holding down Alt or Option, you'll find that you actually get a copy, and then you can drag that across into the new regions you've created. You get the little yellow box which shows you where you're dropping it, so in our case it's on uh, bar 5, beat 1. Let go, and we should now have resonance automation in bars 5 through 8. Okay, I'm going to show you another way of doing that now. The second way of doing this is holding down the shift key while elastic banding, which saves you having to go to the automation select tool. So as you can see on the screen, I'm just on my normal pin pointer tool. What I'm going to do is hold down the shift key and then elastic band. And again, we get that uh, dark gray black overlay. So now we're able to move it. Let's just put it back where we found it again. Or if we're holding down the alt or key or the option key, we can drag it. And this time we're making a copy and drop it into the second lot of bars where we didn't have any automation previously. Same trick down here on the track that's uh, on the lane that's got the mute automation. So holding down the shift key, drag across all the nodes then drag it to the right, holding down the Alt or Option key, depending on the age of your Apple keyboard. We've then got two lots of that. Again, holding down the Shift key, going to select all of those. And made a bit of a mistake there, didn't select all the nodes. So again, just holding down the Shift key, elastic band around the whole region, making sure you get all of the nodes. And then you can do your Alt drag or Option drag trick, just moving it across to drop it on beat one of bar five. And now we should have an exact copy of what we had in our first two or four bars of automation right across the uh, second group of four, so from bars five to eight. And that's how you move or copy automation in Logic Pro. I say that video was uh, specifically for one of our viewers who asked how to do that. Um, if you've got any more suggestions for tutorials you'd like to see, please feel free to drop us an email or leave a message on our YouTube channel and check out our website at www.makemorenoise.org. Thanks for watching. I've been James Muir. I hope you found it useful.